In the first video, we had a brief overview look at the harmless instrument and its interface. In this video, we'll begin our look at working with the sound within the instrument. And logically, first up is the timber section, which is the oscillator that is responsible for generating the sound within the instrument. Along with that, there are also a few components that can be used to further shape the sound. The first control will be the timber selection menu. This will enable you to select the type of waveform that is used by the oscillator engine. If you have set the instrument to the default state, then the default choice will be the basic saw pattern waveform, which can be considered a long time standard in subtractive synthesis. From the drop down menu, you can select from a wide variety of waveform shapes, such as bright or brighter saw. After you have selected your desired waveform, there are further parameters that are used to tweak to add new characteristics to the sound. The first is the LHP parameter. LHP means Low Harmonics Protector. This parameter's job is to protect the low frequency harmonics from being removed by the various filter functions, thus leaving the fundamental harmonics intact if so desired, even after filtering. The next parameter is the subparameter. The subparameter is actually made up of three slider controls. The job of these sliders is to adjust the levels of the subharmonics of the note being played. Sub 1 will control the level of the harmonics that are an octave below the root note, which is the note being played. Sub 3 is the third harmonic, and sub 4 is the fourth harmonic in relation to sub 1, which again is one octave below the note being played. Moving along, we have the EQ. Now, you may think of this as a standard EQ, but in fact, it is not. This EQ works by controlling the harmonic levels of the note being played. So, for example, if I am to play middle C on my keyboard, then slider 1 will control the harmonic levels for the first harmonic, and a little of the second harmonic of the middle C note. Slider 2 will control the second harmonic of the middle note, as well as a portion of the third harmonic, and so on. When the sliders are in the middle position, there is no boost or cut being applied. Moving the sliders up will boost their harmonics, while pulling them down will decrease their harmonic levels. The harmonic mask is again another tool that is used to control the harmonics of the waveform produced by the timber section. The sliders for this parameter will apply a harmonic mask to the selected harmonic. So slider 1 will relate to the first harmonic of the root note. Slider 2 affects the second harmonic and so on. Use the mix knob to adjust the amount of harmonic masking in the generated sound. Add some character with a dedicated LFO to add some movement to the harmonic mask. And that concludes the first portion of our sound generation video. In the next video, we'll continue our look at the timber section and the several other parameters that can be used to further shape the sound.